Hey, this is Sheila Bell the Bell with the Bell Report TV. How you like that? I'm hanging out with my good friend, Monica Lisa Stevenson, the talented one. You've been really busy doing a lot of cool stuff, got new music out. You've been hanging out with Dorothy Norwood. Yes. It's like you're carrying on the next generation of being a caravan. You've got this amazing new baby that you just had. Had the big baby shower that everybody found out about on Twitter and Facebook. Like everybody was invited, okay? I didn't mean to put your business out there, okay? <laughs> And you've got this amazing it's my team. Stuff. They work. They <laughs> work. <laughs> well, look, you know, we got so much to talk about. But I want to back up because people need to know about your brand new CD because you are working it. It's everywhere. I've been listening to it on feelgoodgospel.com. It's off the chain. I love it. But tell us about your new music. Yes, the <laughs> we new good CD. friends. Okay. <laughs> it's such feelgoodgospel.com. You heard it right here. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about your new CD. <laughs> the new CDs are entitled Live in Atlanta, and I'm so excited. It's going to be released next month. And, um, oh, wow, you are excited. Oh, yeah, I am. So um, we're getting ready for that. Uh, of course, I'm a brand new mom, Mr. Zion, that I had to leave home this weekend. Um, but, yeah, the new CD is going to be awesome. Um, we have some fantastic writers, Mr. Claude Deuce, Kim McFarlane, um, Ralph Lawton. So I'm just excited about what God is doing. On your CD, is it the same type of hard singing, traditional singing that we get when we hear you sing? It is. Because it sometimes, is. you know, people pull out the CD, and you don't get the that same feel. Uh, it is because everybody knows me. I'm, I'm church. Yes, you are. I, yes, I'm just. We'll sing just a me. hole in the floor <laughs> any day yeah. of the week. I promised and I was not going to compromise with what everybody else was doing. I wanted to be different and set aside. So that's what I've done. And I'm, I'm going to keep it in my roots. You've been working with the caravans for a while. Albertina Walker mm -hmm. before she passed away. Dorothy Norwood. Has that catered to your style of singing? It has. Growing up in Alabama, um, my mom, my dad, all my family sing, so that's what I was brought up on was traditional gospel music, so that's all I knew. And um, just to be able to be a part um, in the life of the caravans was, was a, you know, something extra that was added to me. They took me under their wings and kind of taught me and uh, about this music business and gave me a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And I'm just excited about, you know, the connection that God made. Um, with me and, and the strongest me. evident you're on Dorothy Norwood's new CD just yeah. that good and it really helps make that song exactly. that's, that's a very exciting song yeah. you know I think I know, I'm not really sure when you've got the stamp of approval from the caravans but I think when the world really recognized you being a part of that caravan family mm -hmm. was at Alatina Walker's Going Home celebration right. in Chicago yep yeah, um Got a lot of controversy about that because they're like, "Who's little me to be a part of?" Avatar That's why I remember that. Right. It's like you were singing, uh, Angela Spivy were singing, yeah. and we were watching. And I mean, I knew who you were, right. but it was like you were very deserving to be there, and you did an amazing job. But people remember that, yeah. and it seems like ever since then you have just been skyrocketing with everything that God has been trusting you with. I have, and you know what, Sheila, is because traditional music is that. That's our, that's our, our foundation, mm -hmm. and um, the caravans. I told them, they, they, they would say, oh, the caravans are old school. Yeah, but they've been out here for 50 years. Watch so, Dorothy um, Norwood in concert. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the house down every time for a little five foot says a lot yes. about who you are. So if I'm connected to somebody who has longevity in this business, I'm going to stay there. What are you learning from Dorothy being on the road with her? <laughs> Notice that she had to collect herself. Okay. <laughs> I decided. Auntie Dot is she's just the boss. She's just herself, and I like her because it reminds me of me. She doesn't play about her money. She says, "Let me tell you, when you go, you get your money." Got it. These people back. tell you anything else. I mean, she's all about business. She's a business woman. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's about taking care of your business. Um, Making sure that you keep yourself and that you know you're not talked about on the road and okay. you know that you that you dress like you're going to church. So you handling your business I am. from the time you have leave your home until the time you come back. I have to. You know, doing all this stuff that's been going on, being a mom and being a wife and mm -hmm. being a daughter-in-law. You also had some challenges dealing with your mother-in-law. Tell us about yes. that. Uh, three years ago, she came to us after having cancer. Really, all of my husband's life. And they just found out only because they had to go in to remove the breast because the cancer had spread throughout her body. And she is yet still here, um, just still giving God praise. Um, had brain surgery, had had all any surgery you can think of because the cancer is still alive, but she is yet still here, and which is a testimony within itself. Um, 
the doctors told him, now she's not, she told him I don't want to take any more chemo because if God is going to heal me, wow. he's just going to heal me. She's a woman of faith. She is. Wow. I mean, if you go to my husband, who's a Pentecostal, if you go to their church, writing is all on the walls, all the way up. I mean, it's, it's either heaven or hell. It ain't wow. no in between. And, and, the doctor and, told her she had two days. She had two days. She had to, to go live. home. She said, wait, I need to go home and ask somebody else. She sure did. And it was on the third day when she made that decision? She made the decision, had the surgery, and came out and recovered. They told her that she wouldn't. They said, well, yeah, but she probably won't know who you all are. So I want you all to go in there and just stand, you know, and see. And she, she they set her up in the bed, and, you know, she was a little still groggy. And she said, Lisa, she said, how you cooking? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. And she, my husband, she said, where are the, she said, how are the kids and where are the rest of the kids? Everything that the doctor said, uh, she just debunked all of that and kept and, on going. Right. Out. They said she should have been in the ICU for a couple days, two wow. or three days. They put her in the room the next day. She is an awesome woman. Awesome, and awesome you guys woman. still have her. Oh, still here. How about that? Still here. I love the fact that you sing for God, but you live for God. Oh yeah. And there's never ever anything that's compromising to that degree. Mm -hmm. I just I love you. And trust me, I'm human. I have all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> but when I hit that stage, it's all about the people. Because you understand that God is trusting you to be right there to minister. Yeah. Because then I'm accountable. Wow. To these people because I'm ministering and feeding to their souls. So God look like, forget about what you got going on. I love it's it. It's about building the kingdom. Right now we're at St. Paul's Baptist Church, and if you didn't get a chance to hear her here, or if you haven't had a chance to catch up with her, you can always go to where to get your information: Facebook, Twitter, or my website, Monica Z Music M U Z I K dot com. You guys got that? You can always hear her on Feel Good Gospel dot com. <laughs> We love you. Love Thank you. you. Thank God bless you. you guys. You guys have been hanging out with me, The Bell, right here with Monica Lisa Stevenson on thebellreport.com. You guys have a good one.